Oh, here we go again. Last time we talked, <clears throat> we created tables. We we saw how we create we could create those uh, using the script and how you want to do that to avoid some problems. Uh, now, <clears throat> sorry, we we gotta create also uh, other things. I mean, we we gotta create the constraints and then create things that will help us will prevent us from having errors in case we have to drop those tables and recreate them again. We saw the database diagrams. And let me come back here to that. Let me come here to new query. Okay. And what I had last time were those tables. Let me put it back there. Let me get this. Okay, so that's pretty much what I had. Uh, we talked about uh, how we put this up, not knows, and how I have the same for what I had it previously when I created Usion Management Studio. Here's just a constraint that I had here. Uh, for you to understand this, it just means that I want it to be out incremented when I do this identity and to start from 100 and go one by one. And here I put 200 and here I put 500. So it's pretty much all the stuff that we had seen already. And that's how I created those guys. But I had a problem now. If I wanted to drop or if I'm to create those tables again, let's say I want to change something right here. Let's say, okay, now I want to put a date in here. I'm going to put a date. Uh, and then I'm going to have that to be a day, day time. Okay, and I try to run that. Oh, I'm gonna have a problem. And that is just saying, okay, the student is already in the database. The student table is already in the database. I can't do that. I can't create another student table. Uh, and did it even go through the subject, the registration? Why? Because I already have that student there. It, it stopped right there. If it would actually come to the subject, I would have the same problem. And the same problem would be in registration. So that's why I have this. It's part of a line here that says, um, let's put it before the table. If object ID is student, user, this is for user, is not no drop table is student. So if I run this query now, the student, like this line, is going to be okay. I'm going to have a problem right here. Let's see. You see, that one is gone. I don't have problem with that anymore. Now I have problem line 11, which would be this one, subject. So let me go there and grab the uh, the drop table for subject. Control V. Oh, I don't want to save that. If I execute, now the problem is going to be in the registration. So now it's going to be line 21. So let me go back there in registration and get the uh, drop. Here we go. Here it goes. Okay, now we should run fine. Anytime I run that, that's going to be completely fine. Uh, some of you might be asking, okay, why don't you just use a drop table registration? And it's quite simple. Let's see, if I let me put this uh, comment that out here. And right now it works. It'll keep working. But let's say that this always gone. Let's take the, the whole registration away. If I execute, it's going to drop. I won't have any problem right now. But that table was dropped. So if I run it again, I'm going to have an error saying that that table wasn't it's not there the registration table so here let's see it tells me that okay i cannot drop a table that does not exist so that's why oh, let me actually i don't want this yet let me put this here and i put this back here the if which is a conditional is going to say okay if this table exists drop it using that i won't have problems so let me come back here now to 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 have the table so that's why i use the if 
object ID. And it, it's a good practice, a good way to do it. Uh, so we don't have errors, so we don't have to debug something that sometimes it's kind of hard to find it. And it's not really a hard thing to do. Uh, now I want to create the, the, the constraints for, for the registration. And I don't, want, I don't really want the state. I uh, just put it here to show you how you would do it. So let me actually just copy these constraints here. I just want these two now. I don't want all of them. Uh, again, if you don't know what I'm talking about here when I create this constraint, just refer to the tutorial for SQL Server and you're going to be able to understand better of what happened here. Uh, let me come back here. Control C. Okay, Control V. It's kind of, oh, okay, I know what happens. I just need to do this. So now I'm creating these constraints. Just make sure I have this in here. Okay, I have the, the parentheses in there. So if I run now, I'm gonna, it's all going to be okay. Now, if I run it again, I'm going to have another problem. It's going to complain to me about this constraint. Since I'm actually uh, dropping the student table and the subject table before the registration, I'm going to have a problem in the constraint. If I try to drop them after the registration, then since that table is already creating the constraints, I'm also going to have problems with that. So let's try to run and see if that's true. Okay, let me run it. Uh-oh. Here's the problem, and it's telling me why. So the problem is that I have a foreign key constraint and blah, blah, blah. So now we have to find another way to solve this problem. And the way I've done that is I just use an alter table. Since the table registration already exists, if the table didn't exist, you would have a problem right here. You wouldn't be able to alter a table that does not exist. So the first time you create the table, you wouldn't put the alter table. But after you created that once, now you can have that over there forever because uh, the table is going to be there. And you can always drop that table and drop the constraint. So that's what I'm doing. I'm dropping the, the, the foreign key constraint. So if I run that right now, the student's going to pass, but the subject will not. Let's see it. Okay, now line, the problem is line 15. So let me go back there to my notepad++ plus plus and get the alter table for um, for subject, for registration that drops the subject ID. So here we go. All right. Okay, and let's execute. Uh, let's see what is the problem. Oh, um, the other problem I had here is saying that since when I when I run the subject, uh, when I run the other the other uh, script, it dropped the subject and it dropped the registration, so I don't have a registration uh, for uh, foreign key or foreign constraint for subject. So it's telling me that okay, you don't have that. So what I'm going to have to do is, let me actually comment that out. Let me comment this out again. Try to run it. Oh, now I'm having a problem with the student ID. Let's try to fix that first and then put them all together. Uh-oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So now let me put them back on. Let me run it. No, I'm still having a problem here. Let me go back here. He's telling that I have a problem with the student. So let me see if I run without it. Okay. Now that one that went okay. Let me put it back on. Now I'm going to have success anytime. Whatever I do, if I want to drop, if I want to add something, whatever I want to do, I'm going to have, have a success because the registration table is already created as well as the constraints, so that won't be a problem anymore.